At school, I really enjoyed maths and physics. For me, it was always going to be engineering. I enjoyed problem solving, so it was always going to be a career in engineering for me. I chose automotive engineering because I've always had a keen interest in cars, and so for me, it was an obvious choice. I got to combine my love for problem solving with my love for cars, and it was just ideal. My expectations of engineering were very, very different to what it's actually like to work in the automotive industry. Um, for example, when I was at university, I didn't see myself being a brake engineer. That wasn't really an area I'd looked at, but actually coming here and seeing what you actually do as a braking engineer completely opened my eyes to what the job actually entailed. Every car that is produced obviously has to go through a series of sign-off tests. So what this involves is taking their vehicle, instrumenting the vehicle, and taking it out onto the track to perform the test and finding out whether the vehicle passes the legislation, whether that be, for example, a stopping distance test to check that the vehicle can stop within a certain distance given a certain amount of input from the driver. We were involved in the development of the Jaguar F-Type here at Myra and uh, it was a full development programme so we are getting to drive them, obviously going out and testing them and so we got to see it at the different stages as the car evolved and I think that was a really interesting project. The automotive industry is a very exciting place to be at the moment. There's obviously a lot of technological advancements, you know, of electric cars, what with the constant need to reduce emissions, improve safety, all of these things keep it a hot topic always and there's so much development work going on in the automotive industry that I think it's, you know, it's never been a better time to join it. I think there's two kind of options in the automotive industry as a graduate. There's kind of a direct route or quite often now companies offer a graduate scheme. Um, personally, I chose a graduate scheme and I think that's a better method. You get to experience different departments. I think straight out of university, I think that's really important as a young engineer to be able to broaden your skills as early as possible. And also it gives you an aspect of try before you buy. You get to try out these roles and find out what they're really about before you commit to a role in a specific part in the automotive industry. The cars are developing all the time, so they're getting more and more complex. And so the teams of people involved to work on these vehicles are getting larger and larger. So I think it's really important that you can work well within a team and understand the kind of bigger picture. Being able to step back and understand where your piece of engineering fits into a whole vehicle, for example, is a really important skill to have. We do a lot of brake testing and vehicle testing, but also designing new systems that outperform the old ones. One day I might be working on a military project, the next a luxury brand vehicle, the next I might be working on a sports car. Finding out what makes a car actually feel sporty, I think that's where the real interest lies, and I think that's not directly obvious when you look at automotive engineering. It's the problem solving and the actual seeing what goes on behind the scenes that makes it really interesting and makes it come alive. I think for me my skills led me towards engineering and my passion led me towards automotive and if you can combine those two things you're guaranteed to succeed in your career.